Today on Two Crazy Kitas, we're gonna review one of Rachel's favorite snacks, cookies from High Key Snacks. Okay, good. We will review this right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Kitas. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it yeah so today we're going to review another set of cookies oh thank goodness <laughs> and these are from high key cookies i was so afraid when you were like oh we're gonna review one of rachel's like favorite snacks that it was gonna be like organ meat or something <laughs> Now, um, we did actually meet High Key when we were at KetoCon. Well, we didn't meet High Key. Well, we met the owner. Yeah. And uh, we really like the products. They have a few different things that we like. We, we had their granola. We did their granola. We did their cereal that they it's sent really us. Good. We've had their cheese crisps, which we really like. I like their sugar blend. Their sugar blend. And uh, they reached out to us and said, would we review their cookies? And they actually have two different kinds. And we've had the chocolate chip ones. Can we eat cookies? Yes, we can eat cookies for you. And ya. they sent us the chocolate chip. And they sent us the snickerdoodle. I don't think I've tried snickerdoodle. We have doodle. not tried the snickerdoodle. So this is how it comes. They sell them on Amazon. How cute is this? I will leave a link down in the description. We are not affiliates with them at all. Nope. But we do really like at least the chocolate chip ones. One thing, it's hard to find the crunch in yes. keto cookies. Yeah. A lot of them are very um, soft. Yes. And oily at times. So a box of these is you get three of them. And again, they're on Amazon and they're $14 for a box of three. So one for Joe and two for me. And now also, uh, make sure you're following them. They put a lot of sales up all the time. I always see sales on their Amazon page. I also see stuff showing up in Facebook all the time where they do buy one, get one free deals and stuff like that. So make yeah. sure you're always checking that kind of well, stuff Well, and you out. don't get, they don't like blow you up like Joanne Fabrics. No. It's like an internet terrorism group. Like I signed up for their emails and I get like five a day. <laughs> Well, I actually got their, like, the monk fruit erythritol blend because, yeah, once you start, like, looking at their product, they, like, kind of follow you on Facebook and stuff. And I got it. There was a thing in Facebook where you got the monk fruit erythritol blend for, like, a dollar. Oh, nice. Like, so you can try it. Wow. So, yeah, make sure you're following them and checking out their website. Okay, so a little bit on the back. There's some copy. It says, uh, high key, fuel the journey, made with only simple, clean ingredients. These are snacks that let you fill up on the great taste without slowing you down. They give you the nourishment that you need to get your next milestone. Grab them on the go or wherever you need a boost and take a bite in the right direction. And it's a bite. I mean, it's really nice. Yep. So it says the high key way, gluten-free, grain-free, naturally sweetened, made with almond flour, coconut oil, and collagen, low net carb, and keto friendly. So the ingredients in these cookies, and this is the snickerdoodle flavor. Okay. We've, we've had that. We haven't reviewed the chocolate chip. But they're, good. they're good. They're really good. Ingredients, almond flour, natural sweetener, which is erythritol monk fruit extract, and stevia extract. It's a blend that is incredible. And they sell the blend. You yes, can they buy sell the their blend. blend. Then they have coconut oil, butter, which is cream and milk and salt. Then there's dried eggs, vanilla extract, baking powder, a hydrologized collagen, cinnamon, guar gum, xanthan gum, and sea salt. What in it is making it so crunchy? I don't know. Well, we haven't even tried these, so we don't think they're crunchy. We've only had those. They have to be crunchy. <laughs> So the nutrition facts on this, this one bag is two servings. Oh, okay. God bless you, high key. Uh, serving size is six pieces, okay, or 30 grams, 150 calories per serving, 14 grams of fat, four grams of protein, nine total carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, six grams of erythritol, which makes that how much? One net carb per, per serving. serving. And that's six cookies. Yes. So if you were to just splurge and eat the entire bag. Because I would. You'd be eating 300 calories. You'd be eating 28 grams of fat. You'd be eating eight grams of protein, 
18 total carbohydrates, but only two net carbs. That is crazy. And by talk. the way, the fiber that's in there, that's coming from your almond flour and stuff because there's nothing else in there. There's no like extra fibers or anything like that added to this. Are you ready? Yes. Am I ready? Okay. I don't know. Let me get prepared to eat cookies. Yes, I'm ready. Oh, unfortunately, this bag's a little broken up. Ooh, it smells so good. So I'm going to get out a couple of, unfortunately, this bag, they've kind of broken into pieces. Well. More more for a reason, Rachel, that would just they keep don't, the whole bag. They don't count. Okay. So I'll give you one. Look at how cute these are. So these are like little cookies like this. Let's see if we can focus on that. Okay. Should we weigh out a serving since we happen to have our scale? Sure. Here? What did we say it was? Six, 30 grams. 30 grams. That's more than six pieces. Yeah. That's 31 grams. I say you bust it up before you eat them and you get more. <laughs> okay, let me put this back or we're going to eat the whole bowl. I will. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. Those are good. Dang, those were good. <laughs> okay. I want to refresh my memory with the chocolate chip ones. I agree. I think we should. Those are so buttery. Let's do the chocolate chip ones. Ingredients, real quick. Almond flour, natural sweeteners. I'm not going to read all this stuff. In the, okay. Then you have chocolate chips, which are unsweetened. Okay. And then you have chocolate with, and then made with chocolate erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia, sunflower lecithin. And that's all the chocolate chips. Then you have coconut oil, butter, prebiotic fiber, dried eggs, and uh, vanilla extract, baking powder, hyd uh, hydrologized collagen, sea salt, xanthan gum, guar gum. So this one actually does have a little bit of sunflower less than because these are not as crunchy, see, as these were. So it must be the... These are like melt in your mouth. They're crunchy enough. You know what they taste like? The most delicious crust that you've ever had on like cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah, so the bees are a little bit softer than these. A little bit softer now. There's one for you. Mmm. Yeah. And then so that is the chocolate chip one. There we go. Okay. Ready? They're tiny, but they're mighty. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I like chocolate chip better unsweetened my butt it's like so perfectly well, milk no, chocolate it's, tasting. the chocolate chips were unsweetened it's like unsweetened chocolate mm -hmm. and then they sweeten with erythritol and their stuff because it is so stinking good these no kidding identical to chips ahoy cookie dates. yeah identical like only, if you give these to your kids they will not know they are eating a sugar-free cookie only they will be like are these new and the ones that we've been eating are old because there is a buttery freshness to those yep. because of the good clean ingredients there's not garbage ingredients in there so you're getting that crunch that you're used to is like a chips away crunch but you're not getting like the stale taste. Yeah, no kidding. They taste identical to a mini Chips Ahoy cookie. That's what it tastes like. Every kid will every love that. Every bite, every, I mean, you can't even, you can usually almond flour cookies, you can tell it's almond flour. You can't tell these are almond no, flour. No, those are really good. These are by far my favorite keto cookies and I think they're the best tasting store-bought keto cookies. I think so too. Okay, so uh, since we pulled it out, the chocolate chip one is 140 calories per serving, 13 grams of fat. Even so, less calories. A uh, little bit less fat. 11 total carbohydrates, a little bit higher on the total carbs. Uh, three grams of protein, and you've got seven grams of erythritol, two grams of dietary fiber. So this is 11 total carbs, two net carbs per serving. This one is 10 total carbs, one net carb. Sorry. These uh, are good. They're don't, really good. Don't get me wrong. I just like these better. It's just those are such magnificent chocolate chip cookies that if you really miss like real chocolate chip cookies that are crunchy. what a, This is just reminding me of my childhood. It is so good. Or my my adulthood when I actually went and bought that stuff because I didn't get it when I was, I was a I was going to say, when you could get the name brand one. <laughs> so you want to put this through five things? Five things? Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on the nutrition label? How does it taste? 
How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So number one, the ingredients. Very nice, clean ingredients. Super clean ingredients. I mean, the snickerdoodle's got absolutely nothing added to it that's bad. This one, I mean, it's got sunflower lecithin, which isn't bad. I mean, it's just great products. Well, you can tell integrity when they are able to sell their sweetener blend separately. Yes. Like, they're not ashamed of what they're putting out. Yep. They're like, hey, make your own cookies with it if you want. Yeah. So number two, I'm doing three. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Yes, all the way down. Both flavors, 140 calories, 13 grams of fat, three grams of protein or four grams of protein. I mean, so it's super much higher in fat than protein. Yeah. Um, and pretty low carb, especially for a keto snack. Was, 10 total carbs, 11 total carbs, one net carb, two net carbs. Usually the only way that you can get this low in net carbs on a keto like dessert option is to go like ice cream route. Yeah. So if you're looking for something crunchy, yep. this is kind of awesome. And again, if you, if you eat them one by one and not like I would probably do where I take six and throw them in my mouth, it'll last you a little they're, longer. They're, they're flavor packed. Yeah, they're, they are flavor packed. So number three, how do they taste? They're so good. They're really good. It makes me want to pack a lunch and go to school. Yeah. It I mean, really does. I, I'm not exaggerating when I say when it comes to keto cookies, and a lot of, we don't do a lot of keto cookies. Unless we're reviewing them, we get them in a pack. We don't really buy them. I have actually bought these. Yeah, because we're know? not affiliates with them. No. Um, I think that they're the best tasting keto cookie, and I think some of that does come from, it just reminds me of pre-keto when you would indulge on a Chips Ahoy or something like that. Famous Amos. Fame, oh, yeah. Famous Amos. Didn't, well, those are a little bit softer than these. these yeah. Are, these are really crunchy. These are really crunchy. Not crunchy hard, just like the perfect crunchiness. Just delicious. Yep. <laughs> So number four, how much do they cost? Mm -hmm. So I have my computer over here again looking on Amazon. They are $13.97 uh, for a box, which comes with three bags. Okay. So that's uh, about $4.60 a bag. And like $2.30 like a, a serving. Somewhere around there. So you're in like Our bar price. Product. Yeah. Yeah. Bar price, nice, good taste. You know, I happen to really like them. And again, Dessert. that's their regular price on there. They do have a subscribe and save price as well. And again, watch for coupons because they're putting coupons on there all the time. Go follow their website, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so number five, would we recommend them? Definitely. In fact, I'm like thinking in my mind, you know what? I know I always talk about adding stuff to, to ice cream, but like this is crunchy like the You're cone. not adding this to ice cream. This is to just eat as a snack. I'm going to smash some up and I'm like putting it on top of ice cream. You put everything on ice cream. Reverse ice cream cone. <laughs> Well, that is our video for today. Do us a favor. Let us know down in the comment section, have you ever tried high-key cookies and which ones are your favorite? Do you like the snickerdoodle or do you like the chocolate chip cookie? And if you haven't tried them, which one would you want to try? Yeah. Snickerdoodle or chocolate chip cookie. So that is our video for today. If you like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.